Emma, how are you? I'm good. The outfit. That is incredible. explains why you were dressed like Inspector Gadget yeah. backstage. <laughs> I looked like I was going to a funeral. I was like, what in the name of God? People were like, who is your one wearing the jacket? But I was trying to hide this, but I think I'm so sweating, it's starting to remelt itself. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to move fast, lads. Don't for me falling apart. <laughs> right, so this is a custom. You don't normally wear this, like, down this to the shop. It's custom made. That's incredible. From your jersey. I feel, I feel really proud. Got two of them from KC, so I get <laughs> And there's this amazing girl, Stitch by Angel, and I was like, come here to me. She did make me little pants, but I was like, it's a bit risky, lad. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to too, cram it down, you? Not. I mean, I can't even sit down, sure, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when can I? Uh, Lyra, you've got yes. your tour starting soon. Mm -hmm. Get a sip now, that's it. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> just, when, just when we thought you couldn't get any more perfect. I love the Guinness. <laughs> I love Guinness. I'm so mortifying on a first date. They're like, would you like a gin and tonic? I'm like, a Guinness or an ale? And they're like, <laughs> Farty McCarthy over here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, one, get it in two. Ah, good first impression. Yeah, love it. Well, come here, you're gigging away. You got a tour coming up? I'm baiting away twirling now in the next couple of months. I can't wait. I love being on the road. It's so much fun. It's like the best ever. And you get to wear outfits that are so uncomfortable. It's actually really good fun. <laughs> <laughs> The chafing is unreal. Just know when you go and see Lyra on tour, she's going to be in pain. <laughs> at all times. A lot of pain. The sucky in knickers are one for the imagination. <laughs> the sucky in knickers? Yeah, and I wear two pairs. Two pairs? Yeah. To Double sure, up. To, to be sure, to be the sure. The outfits are a bit light in this area. Right. It's not that kind of show. Right. We're lucky when the we do... The tickets will be going up. Yeah. <laughs> Ticket sales just spiking right now, I can see it. Um, well, are you set up... You're in England these days. I'm kind of back and forth like a yo-yo, to be honest with you. Actually, when I first moved over, I went through a mortifying situation that just come off tour and I was like, right, I'm going to ring my doctor over there to like, I was thinking about girls freezing the old legs, right? Okay. okay. Let's okay. just put it out there. Yeah. Suppose it's all in fashion at the moment. We're all friends Everyone's here. Everyone's freezing them, right? <laughs> so I went about that, rang the doctors and I was like, how's it going? Where are you? I just want to talk to somebody about freezing the old eggy armies. And they were like, grand. And I was like, mortified. And they are like, They'll give you a ring back there around 12 o'clock. I was like, fantastic. So I went about my day, had to obviously look for somewhere to live, didn't I? So I was like <laughs> ringing up the stages, like, oh yeah, I want to come view a room there. How's it going? I was like, right, grand. Left a few voicemails. Phone went off at 12 o'clock. I was like, oh yeah, I'm just uh, wondering about freezing my eggs there, girl, yeah. And there was no, no noise on the end of the phone. I was like, oh, you know, I've come to the age and just started joking and laughing because the awkward silence. They're like, are you ringing about the room? I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So you're Full on the phone to the estate Full agent. Full talking fertilised station. <laughs> like, I was like, come here to me, scoop them out and put them in the freezer. And your man was like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, freezer doesn't come with the wrong. I was a mar of the vibe. I nearly died a slow death. Oh, oh Lara, I love you. This is lovely. God. <laughs> Speaking of uh, gigs and all, you are known for having exceptional outfits. Yeah, we I love a good outfit, man. We have, have some examples here, Lara. Look at it. Look at it. You didn't, you, you didn't get that in pennies. Fish and chips. <laughs> we have another one here at the. Oh! <laughs> Look at your one. How hard are they to get into? So hard. I swear to God, I am bait into everything I wear. I'm not going to lie, I am. Like that lobster suit, girls. Don't recommend it. I had bloody. Not boob tape because it wouldn't work, so I was also in gaffer tape. <laughs> holding up my breath. And literally, like, trying to tuck in here because the lobster tail was, like, tiny. <laughs> and I was like, come here to me. I've seen bigger lobsters in the shop than this. What's, so, and, and what's it like trying to perform in that? Like, did it ever go kind you of... You kind of lose your mind when you're on stage, don't yeah. you? And you don't really care. Like, you know, but your you... arse could be falling off and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> and, and it do, does. Does the outfits ever go wrong in your life? All the time. <laughs> but you just have to fake it until you bloody make it. Yeah. Story of my life! Um, <laughs> yeah, I've had loads of instances where if I'm wearing, like, a jumpsuit, because I have a bit of a, a big arse, <laughs> that uh, I like a dramatic entrance so the music would be on, I'd be walking on stage and you just hear... <laughs> you'd be like... The arse is gone <laughs> out of the pants. So I just have to tell my tour manager, can you revert that to the lighting guy? And if I turn around, maybe do some strobe lighting. <laughs> maybe do something like that. 
I actually ripped the side off my dress at a Westlife thing, and the Westlife moms are probably like, oh, look at your arms in a fucking underwear. <laughs> and I was like, Mo and I swung around the diamond, they whacked me in the face, and I thought the two gym's gonna fall out on stage. I was like, get me off this stage. Like, really, you oh, just God, have to wear a pair of tracksuit bottoms, I think, in the future. I went so cold, but I was like, look, Chris Martin, he's tracksuit, he's runners. Look at Astrid. <laughs> <laughs> have you got any super fans, Lyra? We know how popular you are. I do have a few, they're so juicy. I love the <laughs> super fan. What do they do? <laughs> so there's one guy, as I told you before, he loves me send pictures of him and his dog, and it's not you, I know that now. <laughs> it was one time. I know. We weren't supposed to mention that. But uh, there is another guy who is hounding me to buy my stage tights all the time. Who tights? And literally, lads, as I said, two stage knickers. 70 derriere stage lights, <laughs> tie high boots, and I'm baiting around like a banshee on heat. They are honking, they stink. And your man's like, how much for the tights? <laughs> I'm like, did you, did you give him a price? I'm like, well, if freezing the eggs is going to cost about nine grand, I might come back to <laughs> you. I mean, speaking of super fans, you've been a super fan on occasion. Yeah, I have. Um, with, with, with a fellow Cork person, I guess. I just love to support the Cork people, you know? <laughs> I know I did mortify myself when I was at the Cork airport and I was sitting down and I saw Roy Keane coming towards me and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is righty and we all do love a bit of a bad boy and he's extra bad. <laughs> like, he's just always bad. Did you, did you go up to Roy? I did not go up to him. <laughs> Don't want to kill myself. I sat on the chair and I secretly done one of these Oh, sneaky things. photo. Sneaky sneaker. And he literally started walking towards me and I was like, He's coming to me. We're going to, get, we're going to get married. And he literally gave me the death stare of all death stares. And I literally got my extensions. And I literally was like hiding my phone, like, I just texting my mom. Was like, it was so mortifying. And thank God his daughter's with him. And she was like, Dad, would you come on? I was like, yeah, please go. Did, did you so get the photo? I did, my arse. I was shaking like a leaf. I was like, he's coming, he's coming. Well, as you haven't got the photo, let's imagine an angry Roy Keane. I mean, that's hard to imagine. Did he look something like this, Lyra? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, so, I mean... Uh, or maybe, did he look at him like this? Oh! Lyra, stop it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, maybe he could have been happy. He, he is happy on occasion. Here, here he is happy, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> happy Roy Keane. That's the one.